Hello, children. We are always confused in finding the highest common factors and the greatest or the greatest common factors. So today in this class, we will learn all the different methods to find the GCF or HCF. And after this class, I can give you a, a guarantee that no, there will not be any doubt in, the, in finding the HCF or TCF. So first of all, what is HCF or what is highest common factor? Highest common factor is when you calculate the factors of two or more numbers, the highest number among all the common factors of the given numbers is called a highest common factor or we also call it as GCF. Now, let's learn all the different methods to find GCF. We have different methods. We have factorization method. We have prime factorization method. We have division method. And also we can apply Venn diagram method to calculate the HCF or TCF. So let's learn all the methods one by one to find the HCF. Now first is our factorization, HCF by factorization method. Now, whenever you have to find the HCF by factorization method, we have to find the factors. And as the name suggests, highest common factor. So out of the factors, whatever will be the highest common factor, that answer will be the HCF. Now you can see in this example of HCF of 12 and 28. First step, you write all the factors of 12. Now you can see it here, we have written all the factors of 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. And now second number is 28. So we will write all the factors of 28. Factors means the numbers which can divide 28. So one is a factor of every number and num every number is a factor of itself. So based on these two, one and 28 will be there for, as a factor of 28 and the other numbers will be two, four, seven, 14. Now, after writing all the factors, you can see the common factor in this case is between 12 and 28 is 1. 1 is common in both. 2 is common in both. And the next one is 4. 4 is also common in these uh, two. Now, out of these common factors, 1, 2 and 4, what is the highest common factor? highest common factor is 4. So HCF of 12 and 28 is 4. So this is called HCF by factor method or by factorization method. So just write the factors and check the highest common factor. Now let's see the next method. Second method is by prime factorization method. You all know how to find the prime factors. Prime factors means the factor the factorization by using the prime numbers like 2, 3, 5 and so on. Now I'm going to show you one question based on prime factorization. Now the question is find the HCF of 24 and 36 with the help of prime factorization. So now quickly write down the factor of 24 prime factorization of 24. 24 prime factorization is 2 into 2, 4, 4 into 3, 12, and then into 2. So you can write the factorization of 24 as 2 into 2 into 3 into 2. You can write like this also. You can write uh, 2 first and 3 also later, or you can write in any order. It will not affect the answer. So 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 is a prime factorization of 24. And do the prime factorization of 36 now. 36 is 2 into 2, 4, and then 4 into uh, 3, 
and then into three. So two into two, four, four into three, 12, 12 into three, 36. So I have done the prime factorization of 24 and 36. Now check the common factors here. So common factor and it can be product of common factors also. Now in 24 and 36, you can see which product is coming common. Yes, two into three. Two times three is here also. And two is coming two times in this. The common is, in this case, is two into two into three. And in this case also, two into two into three. So this product is common in the first part also, in 24 prime factorization. And in second part also, 36 factorization. Now, this product is common. So this is called the HCF. So HCF will be 2 into 2 into 3. So the answer of HCF of 24 and 36 will be 12. Okay. So in this way, we can find the HCF by prime factorization. Because for big numbers, it is very difficult to write all the factors. To save our time, we apply prime factorization method. So prime factorization, first step, write a prime factorization. And then second step, you check all the common factors, the common uh, factors or the product of common factors. In this case, 2 into 2 into 3. This side also 2 into 2 into so these two are common. So the answer is this, this two product is common. So the answer is two into two into three, 12. So this was our second method. Now let's learn another one. The sec third method now, which I told you in the beginning, HCF by division method. Now division method is of two types. It can be long division and it can be short division. Now let's see first is your HCF of uh, 75 and 180 by using long division. Now long division means you have to divide the big number, the bigger number with a smaller number till the remainder is zero. So whatever remainder is coming, you take it as a next divisor and then divide the divisor will be the dividend and then so on. You will continue and final remainder when it comes zero, then that final divisor will be your HCF. Now, in this case, you can see what we have done. We have divided this bigger number 180 with 75. So 75 times 2 is 150. Now see the remainder is not zero. It is coming 30. So now you will take 30 as divisor and 75 as dividend. 30 times 2 is 60. It is 5 here. 7 minus 6 is 1. Again, the next divisor will be your 15 and 30 will be the dividend and 15 times 2 is 30. Now the remainder is 0. So 15 gave you the remainder 0. Therefore, HCF will be 15. This last divisor will be the HCF with which you got zero as the remainder. So this is again uh, another uh, method to find HCF. You can find HCF by long division also. Now let's do the HCF by short division. And this short division method is very useful when you have to find the HCF of two or more than Num two numbers. So let's see how to do this HCF of 48 and 60 by short division. You can take more than two numbers also in short division. Yes. Now you can see it here in 48 and 60, like we do uh, for uh, we have to do the prime factorization or we have to check the common factor in 48 and 60. The common factor, first common factor, which is coming into our mind is 2. So write 2 here. And 2 times 24 is 48. 2 times 60, 30 is 60. Now see in 24 and 30, 
Next common factor is again two. So write two here. This will be 12. This will be 15. Is there any other common factor between 12 and 15? Yes, three is a common factor. So three times four is 12. Three times five is 15. Now we will stop after this. Why? Because now the last two numbers or digits which we have got, they are not having any common factor. So four and five, they are not having any common factor. So we will stop our division here only. And whatever factors we got at this side, this one, this, these factors product will give you the HCF. So HCF in this case is 2 into 2 into 3. So the answer is, so you have to divide the numbers together till you get the numbers without any common factor. When you, when you get the numbers which uh, don't have any common factor, you, you should stop there only and check the product of the first factors. And that product will be your HCF. This HCF by short division is very, very useful when at the same time you have to find a HCF of more than two numbers. Okay, so we have done HCF by long division. We have done HCF by short division. Now, there is another method which you can use if you want to find a HCF. That is called Venn diagram method. Venn diagrams are just a pictorial representation of the collection. So, let's take the case when you have to find a HCF of 60 and 84. From the picture only, you can see I have written the prime factors of 60 and prime factors of 84. And what about this part, which is common? See, this common part is showing all the common factors. So 60 factors are, factors of 60 are 2 into 2 into 3 into 5, 4, 12, 60. And then factors of 84, 2 into 2 into 3, 12, 12 into 7 is 84. So first you find the prime factorization represent in the form of Venn diagram and whatever is coming common in this part, that product will be your X. This is another way to do the HCF questions. So two times two and then into three is your X. So the whatever you will get it in the intersection part, that product will give you your HCF. Okay, so let's do one question based on HCF with this uh, Venn diagram method. Let's see what is the problem. Okay, we have to find now the HCF of 30 and 105. Let's take this circle for 30 and this circle for 105. Now, 30 prime factorization is 2 into 3 into 5. 2, 3 is a 6, 6, 5 is a 30. And let's do the prime factorization for 105. 105 is divisible by 3. So it is 3 times 5, 15, 15, and then 15 times 7 is 105. After this prime factorization, now write the factors in the Venn diagram. And what are the common factors? Common factors are coming 3, 5 here also, and 3, 5 this side also. So for 30, 2 will be here and 3 and 5 will be in the intersection part, this common part of the two circles. And 105 is your 3, 5 and 7, this side. Now, what will be the HCF? HCF will be 3 times 5. Answer is 15. So you can find the HCF very quickly with the help of Venn diagram method. So in all the cases you can see uh, for uh, this one, for to find HCF we require only the factors. 
sometimes common factor, sometimes prime factor. So HCF is basically depends on the prime factorization method. And with the help of that, you can find the HCF very quickly and very easily. So it depends on the question. If you get a question of more than two numbers, you can easily apply short division. And if you get the uh, two numbers only, you can quickly apply your long division or your factor method, or you can apply Venn diagram method. So this is all about HCF. In the next concept building class, we will do some other important topic. So keep practicing these HCF questions with the help of these methods. Thank you.